Yes, uh, they, they will come. They will come it's just a few minutes early. Hello. Good afternoon, Good Anushri. Afternoon. Good morning, Stavros. Good morning, Anushri. Anuradha is from our side. I hope you are aware. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, Hello, everyone. Welcome to the webinar. Hello, Anushri. Uh, In a couple of minutes, we will be starting. I'll quickly go ahead and share my screen. So we'll start with the video in two minutes now. Let's see the messages. Super. Anushri? Yes. Are we live? Yes. yes, we are live. Okay, I think we can start. Uh, Anushri, let's wait a couple of minutes. Yes. Let's sure. wait a couple of minutes no and. Uh, we will start. Sure, no problem. So for the attendees currently over there, hello everyone, a very good morning, good afternoon. For in people joining from India, good afternoon. From people joining from Cyprus, a very good morning and welcome to the webinar. So today the speakers will be Stavros, who is from CMS Systems. Uh, we have Swa from Iris and I am Anushri. So the webinar is about the uh, ESIF mandate and the collaboration between Irish Carbon and CMS System Solutions. Just a couple of minutes and we will be beginning shortly. So now the recording also has been started. Stavros, uh, should we take this yes. uh, Anushri, let's uh, let's wait a one to one a couple of minutes more because sure. we have some more attendants coming in. Uh, oh. Let's just give them a couple of minutes and we will start. Let's say ten o five. So everybody, okay. if they can hear us, just give us a couple of minutes for all the attendees to connect. Okay. Sure. Perfect. Yes, that would be great.
Hi, good morning, everyone. Uh, just for all those attendees who have joined in, we will just wait for a couple of minutes more, and then we can start this webinar. Again, thank you everyone who has joined in. Just a couple of minutes more. Thank you. Okay, I think we will start and uh, the rest of the participants we will join in the I, along when we we proceed. So thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. And thank you for your uh, registration, your participation to this uh, webinar. Uh, as uh, for those that you don't know, I'm Stavros Antonio and I'm senior consultant in CMS System Solutions. Um, for those that don't know uh, our company, CMS System Solutions uh, is the leading company in Cyprus uh, in the provision of solution for preparing financial statements. Uh, we have more than 650 audit firms and corporate clients as uh, corporate co companies as our client with more than 4,000 users as uh, users of our products. And uh, in order to provide best, the best service and the best solutions to our clients, we made a collaboration with um, Iris Carbon in order to provide you a solution for uh, IXBRL uh, presentation. It's the latest requirement uh, of ESEF uh, for public companies, for listed companies. Uh, the requirement is to prepare the financial statements and provide a, a, an XBRL tagging to them. Um, Iris Carbon, uh, it's uh, one of the leading companies in uh, IXBRL solutions and with a lot of years of experience with uh, collaboration with many companies around the world. Uh, and we are aiming to provide you uh, the best product in the market uh, for this um, requirement. So more about Iris and about the tool, uh, I will uh, give the, the, the panel to uh, Swap. Swap is the regional director of Iris. We will introduce us to the company and the solutions they, they provide and how this solution can help you uh, to meet the ESF compliance. So Swap. You can move on. Perfect. Thank you very much, Stavros. And again, I'd like to thank everyone who has joined in uh, this webinar today. Good morning to everyone there in uh, Cyprus. Uh, again, let's quickly get started. Uh, the flow would be, uh, I'll just walk you through Iris, who we are. Um, Stavros has already mentioned the kind of a collaboration we are having in the Cyprus. But then apart from that, you know, uh, I'll just walk you through Iris as a company. So I hope you are able to see this slide, which reads world's leading XPRL solution provider. Now this is what world call us. Uh, and that could be because of the sheer numbers, what you can see on the screen. For an example, we have our presence in 42 countries today. We are working with 30 plus regulators across the globe. And you know we have like uh, 400 plus experts. With the help of them, we have done millions of filings so far. However, what we look at ourselves and what we think that we are a REC tech firm, which stands for Regulatory Technology Firm, because we have 
end to end solutions compliance solutions and the services for the both side of this xprl world for an example on one side of this table you have regulators which would be central banks securities commission stock exchanges business registries they work with us for different xprl compliance solutions um, they we also provide them the xprl services on the other side of the table you would find a lot of filers these could be let's say from isef reporting perspective all of those filers who are listed on the uh, respective stock exchanges and now they need to prepare the report into ixbrl or let's call it like xhtml so we work with those companies as well more about it i'll share it later but that's how you know uh, we we have our presence if you would see on the same slide uh, what is our forte today is the deep market expertise we are here like a pioneer in xprl like xprl space and uh, we started this journey almost 17 years back so if you'd ask us today hey what do we do apart from xprl like xprl we'd say nothing at all we just focus ourselves into xprl i xprl space apart from that uh, you can see other information on the screen like you know we participate in all the conferences the major xprl conferences we are uh, you know seen upon as a evangelist and we also have long lasting relationships with uh, the major consulting firms accounting firms we have partnership across the globe as well as across european union so just highlighting a couple of names so are here which you can see and we are having a relationship with them for nearly a decade for an example somebody like rbi a central bank back here in india deloitte uh, again uh, one of a big four as well as acra which is a business registry in singapore apart from that at the bottom of this page you can see that we are a member of xprl international xprl europe xprl us as well as south africa let's move to the next slide now here at this slide you can see that uh, you know our presence across the globe you can see that from the uh, eastern part of the world to the western part we have our presence whether it is from singapore philippines towards moving towards let's say usa canada we have our presence and we have done like major xprl xprl projects in fact uh, i'd like to say that we were part of all of the xprl xprl mandates wherever they went live for an example starting with let's say us sec which uh, was introduced to us in 2009 but we started working with you know uh, you know most of the companies over there because we were understanding the processes very well so we started working with uh, you know us sec processes almost since 2005 6 apart from that you can also see that uh, you know we have 400 plus experts now i would definitely wanted to highlight this point first is we are a global company though we are headquartered out of india we also have our uh, you know subsidiary offices in italy in usa as well as in singapore and we are also a credible organization we are a listed organization on one of our oldest stock exchange back here in india which is bombay stock exchange and as you could see our strength of 400 plus experts out of which i could easily tell you that 300 plus experts they are from xbrl fraternity most of them they carry on an average 10 years of ifrs understanding experience and they have like donned major uh, you know many caps by executing several xbrl projects for last decade or so so one thing is for sure you would be working with the experts here for sure let's quickly move to the next slide and again not taking much time of yours i would wanted to highlight some logos very selected logos on the screen see uh, as i have said we have like thousands of customers across the globe let me highlight the number of isef reporting customers we have in the european union so currently we have 300 plus isef reporting customers across european union and i would like to highlight a couple of names logos over here you can see that we are working with somebody like colred group which is one of the largest retailer from belgium and they have operations across the european union we are also working with somebody like password a big technology uh, firm based out of finland 
We are also working with Nordicon, which is from Estonia. So we have customers across European Union. Let me also highlight some of the banking customers like KBC. They are working with us for the ESF reporting mandate in many a countries, wherever KBC is. But then, especially within the Cyprus, I would like to highlight a couple of logos again. Uh, somebody like Aspis, they are working with us for ESF reporting. Uh, Cosmos Insurance, Novox, or Notesco. Popularly, you know, they are from the investment firm side of the business and they are also working with us. Uh, it's not only ESF mandate, but we also help companies for different mandates. For an example, resolution reporting or even which is, uh, you know, fondly called as CIR package mandate in the Cyprus. And that's how, you know, we started working with Novox or Notesco or even ShareLink in the Cyprus. Apart from that, you know, um, as I said, like there are thousands of customers across the globe and in European Union as well. Just thought to highlight a couple of them. Moving ahead, I would just wanted to hand it over to Anushri now, who would walk us through, uh, you know, uh, ESEF reporting overview, as well as uh, what offering do we have in terms of a solution, as well as the ESEF services. Yes, Anushri, over to you. Thank you so much. So thank you, uh, Stavros. Thank you, Swap. Uh, thank you, CMS, for giving us this wonderful opportunity. And we are really proud of the collaboration as well. Everyone out over there, hello, and a very warm welcome to one and all. So now I will be walking you through a few highlights of the mandate and our uh, offering for the mandate as well. So the ESIF mandate uh, has come into picture wherein the PDF filing is completely replaced by the future, which is IXPRL. Conversion of your annual reports into IXPRL requires a lot of technical expertise and a deep knowledge from XPRL and IXPRL workspace. There is exactly wherein Iris Carbon comes into picture. Since we have a deep expertise of around 17 years at SWAP has completely uh, rightly pointed it out, we grabbed this opportunity and developed our platform. About the mandate, uh, it came into effect on 1st of January, 2020, but due to the pandemic, it was postponed in majority of the countries across the European region. However, there were a few of the countries ahead and grab this opportunity for the early filing and testing the entire ESEF process, the entire filing. So the ESEF mandate is rolled out in two phases. The phase one requires the consolidated financials to be tacked for the financial statements, which includes your statement of financial position, uh, your income statement, comprehensive income statement, cash flow statement and statement of stockholders equity. So the phase one will include tagging of only the primary financial statements, whereas the phase two will require the issuers to go ahead and tag the notes to accounts with the help of block tagging. So the phase two of the mandate covers the block tagging of the notes to accounts, which is applicable for the fiscal 2022 onwards. So every statement within the, uh, so every notes to accounts within the uh, financial statement will be required to be block tagged. Here's a very short example of the block tagging. I would like to uh, highlight this. We will be shortly going on the platform. I will give you the tour of the platform before going on the platform. Here is just a snapshot of what is the block tagging. So here the note is tagged with one tag, the properties of which you can see in the below property panel. This will be the phase two mandate, which will be coming into picture from fiscal 2022. However, Irish Carbon Platform is ready for phase one and phase two as well. Along with this highlight, I would like to tell you that Irish Carbon is a cloud-based platform, your one-stop solution for your ESIP requirements. So this is a cloud-based solution, so no hardware or software installations are required. 
you just need the browser chrome chromium or microsoft edge and you are good to go ahead iris carbon is fully ecf ready and uh, we are xprl certified along with the ssae 18 audited platform we have acquired our sort soc certification and with the performance and delivery of uh, error free output we have top notched the quality charts iris carbon also focuses upon the uh, investor relationships and the usage of the data wherein we provide you the ixprl weaver link since we cater across the globe and specifically for the ESEF mandate, we are catering to the European Union. We have certain flexible models uh, along with the extensive training and the consulting programs. The platform is catering to European Union and that is why it is available in 23 EU languages. Um, before going to the platform, I would just like to tell that please keep on dropping your questions and we will take this up as and when we finish up with this webinar. Any of your questions, if are unanswered, we will surely get back to you. So let us go to the platform. Just a moment. So here you can see just... Uh, is the Irish Carbon platform. I hope my screen is visible to everyone. This is a cloud-based solution. I have entered the URL. Yes, Harris. I think there is a query from Harris. Just a second. Okay, I will reshare my screen. I suppose my screen is not visible. Is this visible now? Visible yes, to me. Yes, it's yes. visible, yes. Thank you so much. So yes, this is the Irish Carbon platform. As informed, it is the cloud-based solution. I have just entered the URL and entered my login credentials. And here I am landing up on a document. For the purpose of the webinar, we have uh, already tagged an annual uh, financial statement over here, which is ready for the review purposes. For the tagging purposes, the entire document format can be a PDF, it can be a Word document, it can be an Excel file or an HTML file as well. We accept all the inputs and it can be you know, uploaded on the platform. For ease of operations and making the platform multi-user, we have divided the document into sections. On my left-hand side, you can see the documents are divided into sections. To start with the operations, you need to lock the sections. Just a moment. I think I'll just re-log in. Okay. So for the ease of operations, we have divided the document into sections and to start operating upon the platform, first we need to lock the section. So you can see the menus currently are disabled. The moment you go ahead and lock a section, all the menus which are available on the platform are enabled for the respective user. If I'm proceeding upon a section, my colleague can go ahead and perform the operations or any other sections, thereby you know, multi you preparing the platform for the multi-user operations. You can add the users with a different workflow as well from the edit project settings. So the workflow can be assigned and it can also be monitored by use of certain reports. I'll be taking you shortly to the report section. First, let us understand the ESAF mandate and the tagging requirements. In the document menu, you can see most of the uh, icons or most of the menus are uh, formatting related. 
Coming to the XPRL menu, we have the latest ESMA 2020 taxonomy, which is uh, integrated in the platform. You do not have to go ahead and search it anywhere else. Since the reporting language of my annual report is Greek, you can see that this reference taxonomy is in Greek. It is available in 23 EU languages. So currently this is Greek. If I go ahead and open any of the extended link role, I'll be able to see this in Greek language. You can easily toggle between the languages to view the reference taxonomy. So here is it. If I change the language, it will completely change the labels. The tagging or the uh, main aspect of the um, IXPRL comes into picture when the financials are to be tagged. There are many options. You can say, let me just take you to the presentation. I hope my screen is visible now at this point. Yes. Okay, thank you. So the tagging part comes into picture and we have the flexible options, as I said, because we cater to different regions. So if you want to go ahead and process the document on your own, we do allow this after the extensive training. If you want to leverage our expertise for the same, or if you want to use the mapping given by your consultant, we also do accept that on the platform with the means of outsourcing. In the outsourcing package, we will be giving you the entire ready IXPRL package, and you can go ahead and submit this directly to the uh, regulator. Iris personally recommends the hybrid package where in the first year, we will be processing it for you. You can go ahead, do the test filing and the same taxonomy you can use for the later years. So these are interesting flexible options. Coming back to the platform. Currently over here, we have uh, also because of our expertise in IXPRL workspace, we have developed an algorithm with the help of this algorithm. Uh, so basically the algorithm works upon AIML, artificial intelligence and machine learning, wherein the entire labels of your documents are read and the corresponding exact match is found from the reference taxonomy. This feature is the highlight, which is also known as the auto tagging feature. So herein we have the uh, ability to go ahead and read your statements and tag it accordingly. So you just have to select the respective statement and the moment you go ahead, it will read the labels in your statement and it will apply the appropriate tags. Done with the tagging, the most important aspect now remains the review. And on the platform, you have the entire uh, canvas open for the review purposes. So once the tagging is done, you can go ahead and check the values and the properties for a given value, or you can simply pull down the section values. So you can see that uh, the tagging has been done. You can also go ahead and drill down between the properties of a particular value and take appropriate action on the platform. The actions will get updated on the platform and the same, uh, depending on the process of the document, you will be able to see the information of the given statement. So this is a snapshot of a single statement, but if you want to see the entire progress of the document, you can pull down the snapshot for the entire document. It will give you the summary of how many comments are available on the platform, which are raised, what are the tags which are accepted, what is pending and what is rejected. Review being a very crucial uh, thing in the ESEF uh, filing purpose, we have also enabled the platform for the interactions, thereby making the platform extremely interactive platform. So should you have any queries on a, uh, any of the tagging perspective or any of the, um, prop, any of the tags, you can simply just go ahead and raise a comment on the platform itself. 
So the moment you raise a uh, comment on the platform, the commenting pane opens up. You can key in your query. And this query will be sent ahead to our expert team of assistance or support, you can say. So the entire trail remains on the platform. You do not have to go ahead and toggle between your emails. You do not have to keep a check upon the emails. Our support team will get back to you as soon as they can. So the turnaround for the comments which are raised is approximately five minutes. If you raise a comment on the platform, within five minutes, you will receive an acknowledgement saying that we have received your comment. On resolving of the comment, the entire trail will remain on the platform and the users can draw the reports from the same. So we have, um, yeah, so we have the report on the comments as well. So you can anytime look into the details of the whatever comments are raised on the platform. So I'll just open a sample report for you, which will give you an idea of what all details are available for the commenting report. Along with the commenting report, there are other predefined reports also. So these are the comments which are raised. You can see here on the platform. So it gives you the details of what is the status of the comment, by whom the comment was raised, what was the comment, and the reply of the same, along with the date and the time stamp. Along with the comments report, we also have interesting reports such as the complete XBRL report, which gives you the entire details of the tagging along with the references of IFRS. So wherein you have the extract of company taxonomy as well. Yes, that is the main, uh, uh, main aspect of your filing, wherein the mandate requires you to file the company taxonomy in XML format. Our experts over here have also prepared the company taxonomy. And as you can see that this company taxonomy is also available for you for review purposes. You can very well go ahead and check the entire hierarchy. You can check each and every aspects of the elements or the XBRL tax in the property field. Keeping the ESIF requirements into uh, mind, what we have catered for you is the one-stop solution, as I have said uh, in the beginning as well. And therefore, we also have the uh, validator, which is inbuilt on the platform. So making your this entire process of the document uh, an error-free output, what we have done is that we have included a validator, which is a Bush chat validator. It is a XII certified validator, and I will quickly take you through this validations. So, which are which includes the duplicates. If at all there are any duplicates in your document, it cannot pass the filing on the OAM portal. We also have certain calculation uh, checks. So, if at all there are any calculation inconsistencies, you can go ahead and filter these out. So these are for the accuracy purposes, and you can check this. And the third category of the validations are the basic validations. So the basic validations mainly concentrate upon such tags such as the missing mandatory elements. The validations are included as per the latest conformance suit of 2020 and Yes, so we have taken care that your file will go ahead and be filed as an error-free package. So once the entire review procedure is completed on your document, you can pull down the desired reports from the set of predefined reports, and you can go ahead and generate the output. So this, we have the different kind of outputs. You can also draw down the HTML output, the PDF output, or the Word doc output as per your preferences. For the submission of ESF mandate, you have to go ahead, if at all it's a consolidated financials, you have to go ahead with the IXPRL output. Along with the IXPRL, we have also brought in IXPRL Weaver, which comes with the Iris Carbon platform, and it will cater to your um, investor relations and the analytics requirements. 
So here, as you can see, I have generated an output of the current document and it includes entire package, which is required to be submitted to the uh, authority. So this package will, will include a company folder, a report, which will be in a HTML format. So you can see this report in the HTML format. You do not have to compromise on styling. You do not have to compromise on any of the aspects of the report. The entire file or entire document will be processed as it is retaining the entire styling. So this is the HTML format of the report wherein you cannot see the tags which are there because these are the machine readable and are at the back end. And then we have the company folder, which includes your company taxonomy in XML format as per the mandate requirement. So you can see that these are the XML format of the company taxonomy. With all these features, we're bringing for you the complete package, which can be the zip file, which can be taken up and submitted as it is at your regulator's port. We also have the uh, view of looking beyond the filing or catering beyond what is required as for the mandate. And that is why we have brought in the inline XPR Weaver for you. So herein you can see that the inline XBRL Weaver gives you the details of the uh, XBRL tagging. So it is the same pretty looking report of yours along with the styling, along with the format retained as it is, but it will also have the tags embedded. You can just key in the um, name of any of the component and you will be redirected to it. You can check for the tag, you can click on it, and the properties will appear in the property panel. This is an inbuilt uh, feature on the Iris Carbon platform. You do not have to download anything extra for this. And you can use this link on your company's website once you're going ahead and publishing the report. So it will give the uh, viewers or users of the financial statements, the information about your IXPRL as well. So this is uh, a very sneak preview of the Iris Carbon platform. And let me take you back to the presentation. And yes, as I mentioned, the flexible options wherein yes, you can do the entire processing by yourself. Obviously, we will be helping you out for that. You can also leverage our expertise and you can also go ahead with the hybrid package. The choice is yours. We have an interesting thing for you. Uh, we have done certain kind of sampling for the Europe region and we could find that 10% of the European companies had errors in their filing. Yes, you heard it right. Almost 10% of the European companies had errors in the filing. And that is why we being very cautious have incorporated the validator in Iris Carbon platform. So as I have mentioned it many times, I know, but this is your one-stop solution for your ESEP requirements, wherein you can view, review, make the changes, make the edits, filter out the options, also raise the comments on the platform and all of this will give you the entire, uh, you know, the feel of ESEF filing, the complete ESEF filing, the ADRP outputs. Speaking about the um, giving you the ADRP outputs, we have been top notching the quality charts in the uh, US as well, quarter after quarter. And this is uh, our pride to present it to you. Um, as you can see that we have uh, Iris Carbon on number one position as for the latest quality scores. Here are some of the product testimonials, what we have. Uh, so we have, uh, uh, as I said, that uh, many of the companies 
leveraged the uh, opportunity and they used the platform for their ESEP filings for passing year of 2020, although there was a postponement. So you can see that Bestware, Asbis, NE from Italy, Port of Tallinn from Estonia, KBC, all of them went ahead and they have filed their ESEP 2020 successfully. We are very proud to present these testimonials to you. We have many of them. These are just a few, but we have many of them on our web page. You can visit at any point of time and see the product testimonials. Coming to the details of the deliverables, uh, depending on the option you choose, the flexible options you choose, if you go ahead and decide to do everything by yourself, we will be providing you the license, that is the access to the platform, the validator, the access to your auditors or the consultants, and also the IXPRL viewer link. If you choose to go ahead and leverage our expertise, uh, we will be more than happy to cater the services for you. And we will give you the output or you can see your document ready within two to three working days. Yes, you heard it right. Just share your final annual report with us and sit back and relax. Within two to three days, you will get your IXPR package ready. Swap, you would like to elaborate on this point? Sure, definitely. Thank you, Anushri. So uh, turnaround time is really, uh, really important because, um, uh, you know, uh, many a times the issuers, not only in Cyprus, but across the European Union, they would have very less time to publish their final annual report. At the same time, also submit their final package, which is a dot zip package, or let's say, a package which would have a company taxonomy as well as all the XPRL tagging done. So, you know, it's very crucial to work with a company, a vendor who would have turnaround time very less. And that's why, you know, we are highlighting or specifying uh, on this point that we have delivered within, within two to three days to all our customers across the globe. And they have also successfully submitted it to the national regulator. There are two points, uh, by the way, whenever we speak about uh, even the validations part as well. So, you know, there would be one validation which would be in your document, but there would be also second type of a validation which may be provided by your portal itself. That's the national regulator. Hence, we would always uh, recommend to all the issuers in the Cyprus that they should go for a dry run. So dry run means that we are working on your annual report 2020. That means that whatever you would be doing in the next penultimate year, that is live filing year 2022, you are actually doing it this year itself so that you are fully prepared. So, you know, I could even put it in different words. It's just like, you know, you can then sit and relax for the next year, spend your important time with your family and the friends than investing into this, uh, you know, ESEF reporting mandate because maybe you would have just, uh, you know, believed into Iris Carbon who would take care of it. So yes, from turnaround uh, point of uh, perspective, I would say go for a dry run this year and next year you would have very less time possibly for the submission and hence a turnaround time of two to three days would be very much helpful to you. The second point I was mentioning regarding submission, there are many a portals or the regulators who have also allowed for a test filing of your file. So in fact, this year as well in the Cyprus, whenever the test filing would happen, be ready with your report, do it, the test filing. If there are any errors, you know, because there are some validations put forward by let's say the stock exchange, we'll get them resolved so that next year you save a lot of effort and the time. That's it, yeah. Thank you, Anishri. Thank you as well. Stauros, anything you would like to add over here? Yes, here I would like to add uh, that the presence of CMS, it will help also uh, our clients. That's uh, the reason that CMS is collaborating with Iris. 
to provide the local support for anything that is uh, uh, required by the client uh, and be um, the local, let's say, help for, the, for our clients regarding any questions, any queries, any help they will need about uh, uh, the tagging or about the, uh, the submission of their XPRL uh, um, product that they will provide. So um, the communication and everything will be done through CMS. So our local presence will help you even more uh, to, pro to be on time on your um, submission. So, uh, back to you, Anushri. Thank you so much, Stavros. Yes, so um, as I said that uh, any option you select to go ahead with uh, along with CMS, we will be providing you certain training modules. And these are the conclusive ones, uh, the extensive ones. It includes all the aspects from the point of view of ESEP filings. We have exciting things for the future as well. So it is not, as I said, that not only the filing, but we have the capacity, capability to look beyond the filing. And therefore we have brought in the, or we are planning to bring in the ESEP, uh, ESG, not the ESEP, sorry, ESG reporting, which is another point of digital reporting. Uh, currently is ESG reporting is, is at a very shell level. And yes, uh, we are, working upon it. Should you have uh, any information about it, you can visit our website for the more of the information on ESG reporting. So that is all from my side regarding the Iris Carbon. Over to you, Swerve and Stavros. Thank you, everyone. I will be taking up the questions, rather all of us will be taking up the questions if at all any of the questions are unanswered, you can uh, we will be dropping in the uh, answers to it right after the webinar. You can also um, you know address us at info at iriscarbon.com and also do visit the website www.iriscarbon.com eu. Perfect. Thank you, Anushri. So the stage is like open for all your queries. Uh, for the moment, I could see that there was one query regarding, you know, how much presence do we have in the United Kingdom? Uh, although it is addressed, just wanted to highlight a little. So uh, as it is addressed that we are there in the UK uh, for more than a decade now, because as yes. I said, most of the mandates, whenever they went live to a specific jurisdiction. So there's this HMRC mandate, which was, you know, started in 2011. Since 2011, we are working with the companies based out of United Kingdom. Uh, for ESEF mandate, just wanted to highlight that um, in the United Kingdom, we are working uh, with the name of FinEx Solutions. So yes, we are also there for ESEF reporting as well. Any other queries, you can just type it here in the chat window. Or apart from that, you know, we are always available. We will uh, uh, stay on the call for some time. Yes, Tauros? There is a question regarding the dry run. If you can give some more uh, details on that, how it's, yes. it will be delivered and how we, we will do that. Sure. Okay. So uh, let me tell you. In dry run, what normally we do is we will pick up your current annual report, which is fully published report. Let's say annual report 2020. And then there are two questions. Let's say why dry run is important. Because as I was mentioning that, you know, timeline or timing plays an important role. Secondly, quality is of utmost important. Why do we do a dry run this year or why we are just recommending it? The moment we would start working with you on your annual report 2020, uh, we would work one with your team and secondly, our experts, they would start working on your report. They would have all the XBRL tags ready, which should be picked uh, from the ESEF taxonomy. We would also have your company taxonomy ready. Now, you know, you may also agree that a company taxonomy is also very important because it is the set of all those ESEF taxonomy concept you have picked up from the ESEF taxonomy, which represents totally your company. Now, an important aspect is to review everything. Now, this review may happen 
let's say by your internal team it may also happen by involving your auditors and here at iris what we would do is we would allow you to have a you know a good review through the platform itself so you can have uh, a look at your um, you know all the tags and normally we cover it during the training process as well so during the training process while we would walk you through the esf overview we will also walk you through all of your tags how we have selected it why we have created some extensions we may have a, you know a good debate about it as well that why that extension was created and why it is anchored to existing appropriate element in the esf taxonomy these things you know would take your report to a next level of quality because at the end of it what is going to happen that this year you would have reviewed your tax your company taxonomy not only you but also your auditors think about it you are already prepared about your report and finally even if the portal is open for a test submission by let's say uh, cisec or the you know uh, a regulator in the cypress then you can even do a test filing so imagine that you have done everything this year itself next year it's like uh, i would say peace of mind and that's why we are saying dry run is really important uh, stauros do you want to add anything uh, no this is very clear from your side that the dry run it's I, personally i think it's a must because it will help both to get used to the platform uh, if they're going to if, if somebody use the diy method and uh, it also secures that uh, the next year it will be much faster for the preparation of the ixprl absolutely perfect okay i could see one more query over there which is um, whether somebody would get a uh, trial access or the text uh, test access of the platform definitely you would get a trial access of the platform as well um, as as you have uh, you know written that you can contact us after this webinar and we would definitely assist you for the trial access of the platform okay currently i believe we have addressed all those queries which are you know appearing on our q and a session platform or the, the window yeah i believe there's one more okay so here is the question what do you recommend outsourcing or license in our opinion because this will be the starting of the new mandate we personally recommend the outsourcing wherein we will give you the completely uh, ready i uh, ixprl package and you can review the same we will be giving you the training for the same and we will sit with you and review the entire document so that will be something which uh, you can go ahead for the current year's filing so to answer your question the outsourcing will be something which we would personally recommend as ixprl experts perfect thank you anushree i just wanted to highlight some facts also to that query Uh, out of the 300 and uh, 300 plus uh, issuers we have assisted across the european union i would say uh, nearly more than 80% of them they chose outsourcing for a simple reason what anushree has explained esf mandate is relatively new to everyone and it is uh, you know it is uh, good to rely on the experts and get it done at least for the first year understand the processes and be ready to be like let's say self sufficient for the next processes and that's why we would always recommend outsourcing at least uh, for initial years for sure and with iris you have a option even to go for a blended option which is like later years you can even take the processes in house so yes go for outsourcing initially okay i could see one more information uh, one more question on the commercials uh yes there is a uh, information on the commercials uh, it would be even better if um, you can email us or reach out to even stavros we would be more than happy to share the commercials and also address any other uh, additional queries you may have but i can assure you that our commercials are uh i would say attractive and those are in terms of you know uh, competitive 
uh, in the nature for sure. So I can assure you that thing at this moment right now. For the people from Finland, uh, currently who are there, for them, uh, the commercials are extremely economic. So yes. I guess queries are coming in. So we'll just hold on for like, you know, 30 seconds to one minute more. Okay. Yes. If anybody has anything to ask, uh, please uh, write it on the chat so we can answer your questions. Okay, there's one more query. Do you think the man it will be postponed by another year? Um, frankly speaking, no, uh, because we could see many of the countries have also gone ahead and done the voluntary filing, even though the mandate was postponed the last year. Countries like Estonia, many of them from Italy also grabbed this opportunity and went ahead and did their filing. Uh, frankly speaking, at this point of time, we do not see any news, we do not see any um, indication for the postponement. Uh, maybe Stavros, you have any other views on this or Swap, you have any views on this? No, we have uh, no update on that. We think that the mandate will uh, continue as it is planned for this year, they will not postpone it. Uh, the latest information we have from the um, uh, from the SISAC and the uh, SISAC and the stock exchange, they will not postpone this uh, this process. Totally agree. Thank you. Yes, any questions? Please pour in your questions. Okay, I believe, you know, we are done with the queries. However, again, if you have more queries, you can reach out to Stavros. Uh, he is the nearest one to you. And secondly, you also have our email address as well as the phone numbers. Uh, we would be happy to address your queries. Again, one more thing. If you would like to see a demo in person as well, please reach out to Stavros. We can schedule it for you. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Anushri. Thank you, everybody, for your participation. Um, this was just the first uh, uh, brief presentation of uh, Iris Carbon. Uh, as Rob said, uh, for those that uh, they are interested in more deep uh, presentation or more deep um, um, demo or a demo of the of the tool, please contact CMS, and we will arrange um, with uh, Swap and Anushri. Um, one-on-one -on -one presentation and uh, the use of a demo and then we can proceed with trainings and discuss any query that you may have. So thank you everybody. Thank you everyone for being part of this webinar. Thank you CMS for giving this opportunity. Thank you everyone. Thank you everyone. Wish you a successful ESF journey ahead. Thank you. Thank you.